Hi everybody, today in Lucy's kitchen we're going to be making a cake um, and it's going to be a almond and mango cake. It's a version of a cake that I've made before, uh, which is from Ditch the Carbs and it's originally an orange cake. I've also made it using banana and this time I'm going to be using some mango. There's not that many ingredients to this. You can see we've got here the, um, the sweetener, the erythritol, we've got some salt, some baking powder. Um, this is the um, um, already blended mango, six eggs and some almond flour, which I get from Great Tree. And you can see I've got a, a new bag ready. I'm using, it says two oranges. I think when I did it originally, I did weigh it. And basically it, it was about 100, 100 grams of pulped orange. We need 250 grams of almond flour. So zero my thingy again. Okay, we need one tablespoon of baking powder. This is a half teaspoon, sorry. I, this is a half teaspoon, so I need two of those. Okay, we want four tablespoons of erythritol. I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, so half of my half. Okay, there we go, that goes the salt. And now the six eggs. Okay, it says it, use, it says to use a processor for this um, because if you're used doing the oranges in the recipe, um, basically you, you pulp them first using the processor. Um, I'm going to be using uh, this mixer because I don't need to process the, the oranges first. That's why I've actually pulled the processor at the moment and need a new one. Okay, so we're going to um, mix all of that together. Okay, now I'm going to distribute the mixture evenly between the two pans, which I've previously greased and lined. Okay, so there they are, ready for the oven. Okay, so the cakes are all ready, and we're going to bake them now in the oven. And that's on 180 and we're going to bake them for 20 minutes and then see oops see how they are okay so let's see how they turn out so while the um, cakes are cooking in the oven we're going to be making the frosting and for the frosting we're going to be using uh, these ingredients here so this is a different type of um, erythritol so it's the same it's the same um, sugar, but it's um, it's ground down finer to be icing sugar. I'm going to be using some um, cream cheese. I've already weighed that out, and also some Greek yogurt. And I don't have any oranges, um, but I did have a lemon, so I've basically zested that, put a bit of lemon um, peel in as well. And I'm going to mix this in this little food presser processor. Um, I find that quite easy and easy to, to wash up afterwards as well if it's only a small amount <coughs> of, um, of stuff that you're doing it with one go. Okay. okay so we need 125 mils of the yogurt so here we go. Oops, that's about it. And we need 50 grams of the powdered erythritol. Okay, so that's all the ingredients into the little um, moody mixer and we'll quickly whiz that around and make the frosting. And there we have the frosting ready to finish the cake later on. So the cakes are out of the oven and here they are. Um, that was basically 20 minutes, it says 20 to 25 minutes in my oven, um, 20 minutes and I probably should put it on in a bit of a cooler setting but anyway I'm sure they'll be fine and we'll let those cool now and then we'll ice them with the uh, with the filling just putting the cakes on a, a cooling rack to let them cool down we'll take the baking cake paper off looking pretty nice and tasty 
So here we go, here's the finished cake. So it's a mango, it's become a mango, coconut and almond cake. <laughs>